Hi everybody, me again. A quick video on flexible wiring and uh, how to terminate the ends neatly, uh, securely and uh, professionally. Uh, flexible wire is brilliant because it is flexible. You can deform it, it takes back its original shape, you don't get any kinks in it, so it's absolutely perfect for most applications. But the problem arises is when you want to terminate the ends because they are multi-cores within the wire to give them that flexibility that's also their downside when it comes to stripping them back and terminating them you can see here all these uh, strands flaring out so if you take a connector block when you want to put that in the connector block that's a pain in the ass you can see it doesn't want to go in it flares out and it's going to cause all sorts of problems if you were to put a cable in something like this little sonoff um, wi-fi relay they're quite small connectors and what you don't want is for wires not to go in uh, maybe they'll cross and connect to another block they're not supposed to causing short circuits and all sorts of problems so you really want a way of terminating those nice and neatly and professionally so what i've found well they've been around for a long time actually are these ferrules so ferrules go over the end of the wire and terminate it extremely well you get a good mechanical connection so you've got good continuity it's not causing any high resistance uh, and overall just a better job so i bought these these used to be around about two three hundred pounds i got this kit which was ferrules and a uh, wrench um, or crimping tool for about 18 pounds this has got 1200 ferrules in there of various sizes um, so if i just pop that open you can see they start really small at half a millimeter squared or 22 gauge and they go all the way up to 10 gauge or six millimeter squared so it should cover all of your needs you also get in the kit one of these ratchet crimpers so these four jaws come in and then the ratchet will make sure that you don't over compress so everything's done automatically so nice and simple so let's go ahead and terminate one so here's a couple of wires these are I think um, a 20 gauge or about three quarters of a millimeter uh, cross-sectional area so that would be one of these gray ferrules and all you need to do is put the wire into the open flared end and push that all the way through I find it quite helps if you make sure that the copper cable just just pokes out at the end there so you know you've got a good uh, overall connection then get the get the wrench push the metal end of the ferrule all the way up to the collar and then it's as simple as just pull you can hear the ratchet go lift out and that's done so look at that you get a really good crimped connection pulling on that that is really tough that's not coming out that's better than anything else that you could do uh, and then if you need to you can cut that down uh, to a shorter length depending on your connector so if i just do that let's, let's cut that down a little bit so get my wrench cut that down look at that you've got a really good secure connection so then if i put that into my uh, sonoff for example if i just pop that in there get my screwdriver just do that up quickly I mean look at that that is a really professional looking uh, termination that is really secure looks good there's no frayed ends coming out there's no chance of that um, cross connecting to another terminal and causing a short so that gives you a really good connection so if I just do that on a bigger wire as well so here I've got this is more like a 12 gauge or four millimeter squared so that's a gray one here so again just push that through the open end of the collar push it all the way through you can just see it's poking out you see the copper just poking out the end there and again get the crimps push it in all the way up to the plastic collar and squeeze you can hear the ratchet go release look at that again nice square solid i mean i'm really pulling on that and that's not coming out that's not going anywhere so all you need to do is trim off the end get it to the length that's appropriate for your connector so i'll just trim that off now if i was to put that in this terminal block that we looked at earlier 
So let's just put that into an open connector there. Get my screwdriver again. Give that a quick tighten. I mean, look at that. That is a really good, professional looking, really mechanically secure electrical connector. That's the way forward, I think. So if you want to use flexible braided cable, ferrules are definitely the way to go. Anyway, I hope that helps. And uh, if it does, please, uh, please subscribe to the channel. That really helps. And even hit that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next one.